Hi there, Henry Smith here from ironworkofmitch.com. We we'll talk about how to understand the game of money and play it well. Um, welcome to today's recording. There wasn't one yesterday because we had sound problems. It was actually recorded, but when it finished, it realized, I realized there was no sound in it, so I didn't upload it. So I apologize for that. Anyway, here I am today. And uh, make sure you stay to the end of this video because after the update, I will talk about something of interest. So this is about cryptocurrency portfolio update. We'll follow the crypto uh, portfolio as it progresses through the bull run. And um, so what I do is update on a daily basis, something I've been doing since um, February this year, 2021. Now, before I continue, it's important that I do the disclaimer, I'm not a financial planner, I'm not a financial advisor, so this is not a financial advice video. So make sure you do your own due diligence, your own research, before you make any financial decisions. And also understand with any kind of investing, there's always elements of risk. So do not invest more money than you can afford to lose. So with that, I'm going to share my screen and uh, just making sure the sound is still recording. That's not what I want. We'll go to this website later. That's where I want to go to. So this is a spreadsheet I've been updating uh, for, some, for some time now. And um, it's got three main columns, the altcoin, Bitcoin, and, and uh, totals column. And um, the green and red, green is when it's moving forward on the previous day, red is when it's moved backward on the previous day. As you can see, we had a relatively kind of greenish day yesterday. Bitcoin was down, but the altcoins were up, so the overall portfolio was up yesterday. So here we are today on the 27th of October, 2021. And I get the figures from this page here. This particular portfolio consists of one whole Bitcoin, an assortment of specially selected, specially researched alternative coins or altcoins apart from Bitcoin. And these, uh, that's the total. Left hand side, we've got US dollars. Right hand side, we have the same portfolio in British pounds or pounds sterling. This is a percentage split. So you can see the majority of the, my money goes into all coins. Now, that comes in from a live feed into an asset group, and that's how we get the final figures here. And let's, I want to start with this figure here. This is the figure I'm looking for, the all coin figure $177,932. See if I can remember that. So the time today in the UK is it's, uh, four minutes past four, and I've forgotten the figures. Um, 177, 932, 66. 172, 177, was it? 177, 932, and 66. Let's just see if I got that right. Um, yeah. Perfect. So, bring that down here. So that is a drop in the altcoin, 6,627. We'll color that red. And let's go through the overall total. The overall total, which would then bring us to Bitcoin price. Overall total is 237,194 and 47. 237,194. 237, 194, and 37. 30, not 37. 47. Okay, let's cover that. 47. 47. So let's see, that looks like it's down as well. That's 9,501, the whole portfolio is down 9,501. And Bitcoin is also down 2,000, so that was stay red. This was stay red. So it was basically a red day. A red day all round for the portfolio today, but it really doesn't matter. You know, we're in a bull run, so things are going to go higher as time goes on. And uh, so that's fine. That's, um, you know, we've had some, if you go back here and follow some of the videos, we've got some time we were really in the red for several days, you know. So, you know, we all came up for breath. One day, then we went back into it. So this is really no big deal at all at the moment. So that's that's good. Everything's great. Um, looking at Bitcoin, I, I was showing in the video yesterday this support line which I drew. Um, the short the support line which I drew. 
Okay, so the support line goes up. I thought it would it would you know go up and bounce on top of the support user as support, but it seems to have gone past it now. So well, it's kind of at the support line, but it's gone past it, so it might use it as support or resistance. Let's see when Bitcoin's coming back up to the to the sixty thousand level. We'll just see. Well, that's not what I'm looking for. Actual price. Ah, yeah. So the price is fifty nine thousand one hundred two hundred and seventy two two ninety something. So. We don't know what Bitcoin is going to use if Bitcoin is going to come down to here and then come back and use this. This would be a resistance. We, we'll have to see. It's going to consolidate along this line. We'll have to watch and see. Um, as I said, you know, recently escaped the Garden Channel, which was very unusual. What to do, but it, again, again, then again, it was in a bull run. And um, you know, it's come down a little bit after you know, 15, 20 days outside the tunnel. Now this particular candle has got, this candle got eight hours, eight hours, 51 minutes. So this candle has got eight hours before it's formed. Hopefully it will stay above the red line because if it goes under the red line, it could mean it's coming back into the tunnel. So, and then bounce, use this as support and go back into the green, towards the green and beyond. So we'll watch and see that. The moving averages, 50 day moving average in green, 200 day moving average in red. Still bullish looking after the golden crossing on the, the, the 13th of September. You know, that was signaled an upward trend and things are still upwards. So we'll continue to observe that. And this indicator here, the, the uh, bullish and bearish and the indicator, which shows we're still in a bullish mode. Although these, these gaps here are closing a little bit. You know, when we were back here, like this, you know, it was pretty wide open. You now I kind of use this like a, a mouth, like a dragon's mouth, open. And uh, the red, when the red is on top of the, sorry, when the green is on top of the red is at the bottom, we're in a bullish mode. And um, when they come close together and they actually cross over, then we get the red on top and we're on the bearish mode. So we were very bullish and um, these seem to be getting closer and closer. We'll observe, observe those if to see if they meet. And uh, this trend, this orange, the this yellow line here, which is the strength of the, the, the upward trend, the trend that we have, seems to be waning. So it looks like the upward trend has weakened slightly, but it doesn't mean that um, you know it can't turn around. Or if, it, if it, this orange line, this orange line, this yellow line should come down even further, it would mean these would be closing as well, which means this price would drop. So we shall be watching with interest, okay, as we get through this. You know, if we get a situation like this, where the red is on top and the green is on bottom, then we're gonna be definitely gonna be very bearish again. But um, we shall see, you know, the, the alternate, you've got, you know, the bullish, bearish, bullish, bearish. So we had, you know, this was a bearish period, then we had a bullish period, then we had a bearish period. Now we have a bullish period. So, you know, I've always said things keep alternating. After an expansion, there's a contraction. After a contraction, there's an expansion. But again, we'll keep you updated and observing this. Um, the other thing I was talking about is, um, let's see, not this one. Yeah, I was talking about um, back in 2013, uh, October, the, the month seemed very, very close. Very, very close. Uh, doing very, 
very close to what they're doing at the moment. So this year is behaving very similar to 2013 in terms of the height we had in, in uh, April, May we had the decline. This happened in 2013, not just under there, it's just to June 2013. And then we've had an upward trend, and here this is represents October. Now, if you look at this, very, very similar, we had the upward trend in, in you know, it peaked in, in April, then we had the downward trend in May and June, then it started to go up again, and here we are in October. October's not finished yet. So it's, it's, it's behaving very, very similar month by month. Not exactly the same, but it's very similar. And um, yeah, very, very similar. But interest, so if you, yeah, if you look at these the last six months, April, May, June, you know, we have a peak in April and May, April, then it tanked in May and June, and then started going back up, started recovering. This is what happened in 2021. Very similar to what happened in um, 2013. Peaked in April, tanked in May and June, and then recovered in, in October. So it's, it's following the pattern very, very closely. But the interesting thing is what happened in November. What happened in November in 2013, because you know, this is going very, very close to what's happened in 2013. Uh, we're gonna discuss that more tomorrow in the next video. We look at what happened in November and we'll see, you know, November's right around the corner now, it's the 27th of um, October. And if what happened in November is anywhere close this time around, well, we could be in, we could be in store for an incredible November. But again, nothing in crypto is certain. The only thing that's certain in crypto is that nothing is certain. That's the only thing. That's true. But it's you know, there's probability. So just look, we'll look further. But I'm going to cover that. What happened in November? tomorrow in tomorrow's video so make sure you tune in anyway if you like these kind of videos uh, make sure you like subscribe and share this video also um, visit our website i'm working rich.com i don't understand the game of money and play it well scroll down and download your millionaire mindset and investment strategy now free of charge put it into action fill in the short form you'll get it send it to you immediately and um, that's how I'm worth in rich.com. Links below the video, or if not, you can uh, see the, the, the website again at the end of this video. So um, I want to thank you very much for uh, watching this video with me. Thank you for your attention. Look forward to seeing you the next one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification button. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye for now.